Hello again. So, just um, trying out some new things. So I'm this install just has Scatterer, and I'm I've just installed the new uh, the newest version of Scatterer, which was just released yesterday. Actually, let me go look at the release notes. Uh, yeah, released yesterday, version 0 .0220 uh, on spacedoc.info. Uh, info. Um, so I just wanted to take a look at it to see you know, what it fixed, what it didn't. I'm currently running with, let me just confirm, um, yep, OpenGL uh, force pop-up window uh, with full screen disabled. Uh, so kind of my standard setup, but just worth confirming that. Uh, so let's see, so I've, it's just a fresh install. I haven't applied any of my own customizations, but I just want a record of like what it looks like with nothing customized. So. I love to do my launches right near sunset or sunrise because you get to you get to see the get the most out of scatter from the ground. Um, so first off, just things to point out that you know I, I optimize away from when I configure it myself. So you can kind of see the line all the way around, really, um, and it's kind of follows at the edge too. If you can see that, where it's black above, there's kind of a little limb. I don't know. It's kind of a curved line at the horizon. You can very clearly see a gap. There's you know a little bit of blue on the horizon, but I'm pretty much fine with that. I don't know. Um, let's see, and yeah, at the sun, like all the way around, you can see this line and it kind of rises at the center of the screen. Uh, so I'm just going to pop just kind of a SSTU based um, SLS type craft into flight just so I can observe some of the changes while I go up. So I've I've only customized one single setting and I'll point that out. So this is just, this is what it would look like if you just install Scatter. Um, kind of copy their information. Uh, let's see. Launch. Um, if you just copy from the uh, scatter op, uh, it says rename the folder. So Kerb and Earth, um, Duna to Mars. So I, I just renamed those folders just as it suggests for for our RSS, and and used his settings there. So let's see what it looks like. So there's a few things I know, like I, I didn't disable the ocean yet, so I want um, yeah, I want this record just so he can see, um, sorry, I, I should just speak names because he does awesome work, uh, Black Rack. Um, I just want a video so I can you know, so I can show him just what the ocean currently does for RSS because honestly I play pretty little stock, um, so I don't know what his ocean does in stock. Yeah. I'm, so, but it does super crazy things, and it, it does it does it around altitudes. Anyway, I just don't want to get ahead of myself here. So let's see from map mode. So the one thing I customized was um, again Alt F11. I set this map view scale. I'm going to see if there's a way to save it into files so we can include it in R RVE configs. So you don't have to go in here every time you you know set up a new install. Um, I like to usually reduce this, but. Eh, whatever. I'll just leave it as it was by default. See if yeah, see if that's nice. So go back here. Actually, I'm curious if I can see whoo, if this makes a difference or not from the ground. Let's see. Set. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see the sunlight kind of change. So the halo or whatever of the of the sun is bigger when that's set to the default. Okay. So close that out. So yeah, these are all defaults. You can still you can see the ocean is still enabled. Uh, like it, you know. If you fly low, uh, low to the ground, I'm sure that's pretty, pretty great. Um, like if you fly airplanes, well, the, the uh, ocean effects. But it's because I'm always just launching a rocket, it goes from like this look, which is just a little weird, to even crazier appearances. So, uh, so you can see the, you know, the uh, kind of edge effect is still there. So in my in my uh, custom scatter folder, which um, I still need to post up somewhere. Um, I adjusted the scatter settings. Oh, another thing you can see. So the, see the sun is kind of getting blocked by that edge even. It's really weird. And you can see the sun on the water is starting to get crazier and crazier. Like it's, I can kind of see the math there. Like it's kind of similar to what you'd want it to do. You just don't want it to get this static noise appearance. Um, oh, and one thing I customized, I'll just quickly show off. I, I want to poke Nathan Kell about it because we've done things with RSS. Uh, to to deal with this, but so aerodynamics FX quality, I lowered it to very low. Um, you could adjust it, but I had it way up, and I know my frame rate was lower uh, my f than I than I want it to be. And I know I know that's one of the things that has a substantial effect in RSS or RO. So those aerodynamic effects, even though they don't really show, they've been adjusted in RSS, so they don't show as much just because the curve of what causes you know 
of what speeds or, or you know what what drag or whatnot causes them to show in stock is just completely out to lunch for what happens in in the real solar system. So Nathan Kell adjusted those down. Um, but I think it, it still seems to clearly have a render cost. Like here, I don't know, my, my frame rate feels really smooth. I'm not going to turn that setting back on just to show you, but um, it uh, causes trouble. So okay, so the ocean, um, that speckly pattern has gone away. It looks you know, similar to, to how it would look with ocean disabled, not bad. So we still have that line by the sun being blocked out. Now the, the water is starting to do jittery crazy things. I think, I believe that does relate to scatterer, but I could be wrong. I'm just observing what I see. Um, because the ocean is currently being generated by something. Um, the water, see that color of the sun looks a bit weird from what it looks like with it, with it disabled. And this, this crazy flashing is what I wanted to show, uh, to point out. So even with ocean disabled, it looks like Scatter still does some kind of crazy things to the ocean. Like it makes me think of what RVE does with clouds if you don't raise the clouds up. Um, and of course you can't just raise the ocean. So, so even with um, how, how Scatter with oceans on, the way it switches over to ocean disabled above a certain altitude still looks kind of crazy. Now we're approaching uh, 70 kilometers of altitude, which is where I think things go crazy, and, and that number is kind of part of why I want to record it, um, because it starts to look crazy as you approach 70, because in stock, uh, I believe that's kind of, that's the edge of the atmosphere, so the numbers um, for how Scatter deals with the ocean might be kind of customized for that, um, but in RSS the numbers, you know, it's the, the atmosphere ends around 130. Oh, and I should dump these. Is this still balanced? I was just seeing some weird, um, Nathan Kell pointed out some weird um, oxygen, liquid oxygen uh, loss things I wanted to look at too, but you know, too many things to do all at once. So throw the jet, uh, jettison tower, jettison the tower. Okay, so yeah, it's still kind of looking crazy. The edges you can see. So you can see the land underneath, um, like kind of the pattern underneath the ocean. So above 70 kilometers or something, it starts to look, the ocean starts to look crazy weird, like to the point where it like looks like it's transparent or it's not even there other than the fact that it's just jittering at the edges. So, you know, clearly weird things are going on. So I just wanted a, a, a quick record of what this looks like uh, with the stock scatter settings. You know, it's not terrible. Like there's lots of great things about it. Um, so, so the that atmospheric edge effect is starting to go away. I really only see it right at the edge of the Milky Way and only barely, so that seems to clear out there. Oh, weird. And now it's gone super white, and this, this is some kind of transition, I, I think. Maybe it'll change around 130 or 180 or something, but just everything kind of everything kind of disappeared into the into the cloud, so I see no sign of, well, other than like, the you can see the launch pad itself, but no sign, sign of Florida. Florida has disappeared under the waves. So from here it looks all right, um, but from up here, so with the default scatter settings, you know, like you can see the engines clearly, um, it's in effect. Um, like, you know, a lot of good things are going on with it, but it clearly needs some, some tweaking from these default settings uh, to, to work well with the real solar system. So if you've seen something like what I have here, don't worry, you're, you know, nothing strange or special is happening in your, oh, in your install. So, you know, don't worry. You can definitely customize them. So now I'm starting to go up in altitude. I think either my eyes have gotten better or I've gotten up to enough of an altitude, but I start to see the fringes of Florida. Uh, so, so it looks like around 160 kilometers, something in these numbers changes to the point where you can actually see. So something with extinction was my guess because extinction till, tint and extinction multiplier, those numbers seem to change a bit. All these numbers really change around that, but it, you know, clearly the numbers are just crazy for what it looks like. Because um, when I turned off extinction, it, you know, I could actually see through the clouds. So uh, I'll do something similar with my, you know, I'll tweak up my settings and post my custom settings at so some point. So people can just copy over my file and hopefully get everything I have for scatter. So this is just a, an install with just scatter, not uh, RVE, because I, you know, I, I like to do individual tests. So get scatter working nice and then Maybe I'll you know, do an update video on what are, what's changed in RVE in the last week or two. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.